All right, Shalom, Shalom. So, Brother Kosh Kuala coming back at you with another lesson. Giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the 1144 first fruit. What I'm going to title this is um, Don't Let Your Anxiety Outweigh Your uh, Patience. All right, don't let your anxiety outweigh your patience. And what I mean by that is sometimes brothers can get too anxious and um, become impatient. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying brothers, you know, but I'm just saying, in, let me say it as individuals could let their anxiety get in the way of them being patient. So therefore, they make a move that's not justifiable and it's not according to you know script scriptural uh scriptural um you know uh conduct you see uh, one thing you think about is <clears throat> one thing you think about is um 2001 when the apostles and the elders were pushing the the truth and the, the the world trade centers hit got hit a lot of men lost faith because they thought that was it, but life went right back to normal, you know? They start questioning, you know, hey, man, what, what was, is this real, or is he going to do anything? You know, but that it just wasn't the time yet. The brothers uh, brothers had to wake up. The Lord had to wake up brothers who didn't want to wake up, you see? And, you know, they were overly, zeal you know, anxious, not zealous, but overly anxious and therefore, they kind of lost their their faith. But ultimately, it was it was you know, preordained that those individuals are going to fall out during the 2001 house. It's another sifting period. We're going to another sifting period right now. But I'm gonna be real. I've never experienced a time like this in, in my life. You know, being on this earth. You know, I'm, I'm young. You know, about to be 30 or whatnot. But I never experienced something like this happen at this magnitude you could say when the world trade centers hit sports were still going on nobody was being quarantined mandatorily you know mandatory Sh stores weren't uh being uh, uh uh you know overrun and empty and things of that nature shit i went to school the next day i was like in the fourth fifth grade you know yeah i, I had got out of school early that day but I went right back. Everything went right back to normal. Next day, it felt like next week, you know, and it just went on. But we're in a time where it looks like things ain't going back to normal, you know. So don't let your anxiety outrule your faith because certain things ain't happening in your time frame. So I'm going to get uh, uh, limitations three and 22. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fell not. And what you can say with that, and I'm pulling this out because a brother has sent this to me um, earlier this morning, the brother uh, Tazamar from the Dallas camp. Shalom, brother. And uh, it kind of eased my spirit to get me to, uh, you know, be regular, <laughs> you could say. Because, you know, there's been a lot of shit popping off. Not shit, but a lot of prophecies popping off that's, that gets you like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Instead of being like, okay, we see it, we see it. Okay, let's be patient. Let's keep reading. Let's keep studying. Let's do do what we're supposed to do still. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being so preoccupied and not focusing on day-to-day -day operations, you still got to go to work. You know, you still got to do what you got to do. You still got to pay your rent, bills. It ain't popped off yet. It ain't got bad to where I'm not to where I can't step outside my house yet. We ain't been through nothing yet. So calm your anxious uh, spirit down. Because first of all, if anyone should be anxious, it should be Yahweh Shai, not you. Because the only thing we're waiting on, which I'm going to get in the book of James, is Yahweh Shai to come back. He's the one who should be super anxious. Not us. If anything, if you want to be anxious, you should be anxious of Yahweh Shai getting his revenge. Okay, not you getting the hell up out of here. 
Yahushai getting his revenge then comes with you getting out of here. We should be hoping for Yahushai to get his first. We should be anxious to, for Yahushai to get his. Yeah, we want to get out of here, but first, the, the first things first, Yahushai. You see? So it says again, Lamentations 3 and 22, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. And it's merciful that we're not consumed by our anxious or anxiety. We stay patient in it. Okay? He says, because his compassion fell not. Correct. Verse 23, they are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness, is thy faithfulness. That's right. So you just continue to pray that you stay patient and that your anxiety doesn't consume or compass your, your patience. Okay? <clears throat> All right, simple and plain as that. So let me get go and get the uh, the James. I've been bringing this script out a lot. James 5 and, and 7. And this goes to show you that we're supposed to patiently wait on your house shy and his and his get back, you could say. All right. James 5 and 7. It says, uh, be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth. Yahweh shy. So the husbandman is Yahweh shy. He waits. He's waiting at the throne of Yahweh, uh, of Yahweh like. Father, when can I go? When can I go receive my, my gifts again? You know, when can I get them out of that shithole that they're in? He's anxious. When can I go get the ones who pierced me? Like it says in Revelation, the first chapter, every eye shall see even the ones who pierced him. He's patiently waiting. He's in, he. If anyone should be anxious, it should be him. All right. If anyone should be anxious, it should be him. It says, uh, the husband man waited for the precious fruit of the earth. Correct. The elect. Those are the fruit. Okay. And the one third that they bring in. All right. And have long patience for it. You see, Yahweh Shai exercises the patience as well. So why can't we? Don't let your anxiety and your anxious uh, spirit overcome your patience. It's okay to hasten the day, but balance it out with your patience. Okay? It says until he received the, er the, the early and latter rain. See, until he receives it. We don't receive anything until Yahweh Shai receives it. So we got to be patient until Yahweh Shai receives his. Then he will relinquish it and disperse it. Unto the elect. So, if, you know, if you ever feel that spirit of being too anxious or or whatnot, pray to the Lord to exercise your patience as well. OK, we're not on the Lord ain't on our time frame. OK, you exercising a, a, a level of um, being overly anxious shows you that you're not patient enough. You you're not patient enough for the Lord to do what he needs to do when he needs to do it, and when he wants to do it. You're not in control. You don't call the shots. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai calls the shots. So you wait until he calls that shot. That's simple. Verse 8, it says, Be also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord. Draw off nigh. And yes, the scriptures in the book of Romans does tell us that our salvation is nearer than what we believe. And it's true. We can see these things happening every day. Every day it gets worse. Every day something happens. Every day somebody dies. Every day this coronavirus cases get higher. Uh, every day the stock market is fluctuating. Okay? Every day people are getting laid off. Every day um, people are going through it more and more. Every day there's been, there's been more cases of uh, earthquakes. As we know in the scriptures in Matthew, the 24 chapters, it talks about earthquakes in diverse places every day. We can see the end approaching very quickly, very quickly. All right. Got yeah, talking about quarantines, uh, the, the uh, president exercising the Stafford Act, things of this nature. We see it every day. So, yes, things are happening and it does look like we're about to, you know, go through Jacob's trouble pretty soon. All right. And the Lord willing, get out of here soon after. 
okay? But you got to be patient through it. There's a lot of things that we haven't experienced and a lot of wisdom out there that we have to obtain before we get on the chariot. So just patiently wait. Don't let your anxiety overrule your patience. You know, that's what the, the lesson or the uh, message I wanted to bring forth from Lord Willard was edifying. I didn't want to make this too long, but I want to get to the point of the matter. Again, don't let your anxiety outrule your patience. All right, so I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechapadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144, uh, 144 first fruit. It's Brother Kasha Kuala. Until the next time, I want to say Shalom.